We'll work three, problem two. Four point charges, each have a charge Q, are located at the corners of a square having sides of length A. Find an expression for the total electric potential at the center of the square to the four charges. Use any variable or symbol stated above, along with the following as necessary. Okay, this isn't too bad. And I think this one is going to be easier than the similar problems we had that involved um, electric charge or electric fields. So draw a quick picture. Oh, and that's terrible. There we go. Size A. We want the electric potential at this point right here. Now, your first thought with electric field would be, oh, they all push against each other, all cancel out, it's zero. Which is true for electric fields, but electric potentials are vectors, not scalars. Well, the question here is not which way is the particle getting it pushed, but if we start the particle from infinity and move it here. We don't have to move it in a straight line, we can move it in any direction we want. Um, I think that has to do with conservative fields. I don't know. I'm not too worried about the details. So, any path we want, take it, move it right there. Find an expression for the total electric potential. Electric potential, potential energy difference. If you don't get that reference, watch the first video. Alright, find an expression. Alright, so I'm going to find it for one of them and realize that it's going to be the same for all the rest. So we have voltage equals K, I'm going to use big Q here, over R, where R, if we zoom out a little bit here, look at this, this is going to be, this side here is going to be A over 2, this side here is going to be A over 2, so the length of the hypotenuse will be A over 2 squared plus A over 2 squared square rooted which I conveniently know is actually I'm going to have to do this out. Alright, so A squared over 4 and there's two of them so it'll be 2 square rooted and that will be so it'll be A squared over 2 all square rooted which will equal I'm really bad at this. I'll just leave it like that What's your a over square root of 2? There we go. I know you're not supposed to have um, radicals in the uh, denominator. Or, as I like to say, no hippies in the basement. But I have a feeling it's going to work itself out. So then, the voltage for one of the Qs will be K Q over a over square root of 2, which equals k q over a square root of 2. Because when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So v, I'm going to call this v total. I could also call it v q q q q is going to be 4 times the square root of 2, because there's 4 of them. K Q over A. So what that's saying is the energy that each of these Qs is going to contribute or resist, <clears throat> another way to be thinking of it is if there's a spring between each of those Qs and the particle A, and the particle, I'm going to call this guy particle P that way. All the little springs, say, assuming they're both positive, between particle Q or charge Q and particle P are all going to be equally compressed when I take point P from infinity and move it into the center of this box. So the potential energy, the electric potential, potential energy difference will be 4 times the square root of 2 KQ over A. So for this guy right here, zoom in, ultra zoom, K Q square root of 4, no, 4 times square root of 2 over A. And the A is specifically not squared. 
Okay. Find an expression for the work required to bring a fifth charge Q from infinity to the center of the square. Use any variable or something, something stated above in this All right. So this is a basic understanding of life. <coughs> so this is a measurement of joules per coulomb, which is volts. So we mul multiply joules per coulomb by coulombs, then we get joules, which is work. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the exact equation we just had over A, and then multiply it by Q, the charge that we're bringing in. Because this is the whole idea of what we're doing. Yep. Um, and the best way to remember that as a general mnemonic in life is a one measurement of work that you'll learn later if you haven't learned it already is an electron volt. So a volt is a joule per coulomb. E is a measure of charge. I'm going to call it a measure of coulombs. And so when you multiply them together, you're going to get a work. So work equals voltage times a charge Q. Got it? All right. That's all there is to this one. On to the next.